Hi, everybody. It's Julie. Happy August. Happy August. And that means we are finally ready to use our little golden books. We have been talking about this for months and so excited to finally use these. I'm going to be using a jungle book for my main um, journal that I'll be making. I'm also going to kind of go off and make a couple of others. They will not be as elaborate and full as this one, but just as I have things out, I'm going to go ahead and try and get some other ones put together at the same time. So for the August challenge, yes, we have a junk journal challenge here every month and it starts on the first of the month you have until the last day of the month which this month is the 31st to finish your journal all of the requirements and to post it in the very special facebook group that we have for the challenge okay so um obviously you're going to need a little golden book Okay, it's it. This challenge is for a little golden book. You need to use a little golden book, and um, we're going to do a 60 page journal or more, and it needs to be two signatures. We are going to let you choose your binding style so you can do a regular binding. I'm recommending a large spine for this challenge. There are a lot of embellishments for it. So, um, yeah, so a larger, your large spine, um, so you don't have as much of a gator mouth. And so last month I did, what did I, I think I did a two and a half inch spine and three signatures and my journal is it sits really really good okay so um i don't know if i'm gonna go two and a half or if i'm gonna go two for this one um but we will see um you are to use this in the journal somewhere okay there are lots of ways of getting your gold off one of them is to just take it off. Now, if you if you end up ripping it, it's okay. Make it part of your collage, okay? But use that somewhere in your journal. Um, some of you will do some of the great, um, where they're able to save this and use it. So um, looking forward to seeing that. There is a place to post how you used your spine in your journal. There is a place to post that. There is a place to post the kit that you put together to use for your journal. There is a place to post your Dear Julie Julie digital that you choose. And your there's a place to post the, um, the book that you've chosen, okay? So all those are places that you're gonna post specific things. And those are already in the group, and so you can start sharing that right away. Okay, um, so the binding. So you can do a regular binding. You can do a Midori style where you have the elastics that are holding your signatures in. Now, usually when you do that, your signatures can be like, two actually two journals um most of the golden books i have ever played with have two um they're they're separated into two signatures um the other one that i made i think i did it in i did a third signature okay so you can see this one is stapled inside that area there Okay, and then your staples are underneath your your little golden spine here. Okay, but um, I was trying to figure out how many, and I can't see, I 
can't see it real good. I know my Peter Rabbit one, it was really easy to see how many. It looks like it's two, okay? The ones that I've ever taken apart before have all been two. Okay, yeah. So there's, there's where one of my signature ends and this is where the other one starts, okay? So you can put your book in order. That's how I like to do it. Or you can, you know, take your book apart and that's, if that's how you want to do it, that is fine. Okay. You can also, this time you can do a binder style journal. Okay. So where you either you have binder rings or maybe you're going to put it together with a cinch. Remember that your spine, you're going to have a lot of embellishments and your spine, um, you might, you know, want to remember that. Okay. Okay. So you have your golden book, you have your binding choice. You're going to do at least two signatures and let's see. Yeah, so do, do, do. Okay. Now this month, because it's a little golden book, I decided to do the ABC format. So I have chosen elements that you're going to use in your journal that are A to Z. And I have chosen embellishments that you're going to make for your journal that are A to Z. Okay. Uh, remember that you're going to use four. You're going to take your item that you need to make and it needs to be made with embellished or enhanced with at least four of the items from the a to z element list so the list of things that you're using to make your journal okay um very important and we do have some new elements this time i will try and do those early on in the month so that you can see those the others you can look them up um, in the search bar put the name of it and put dear julie julie and see that should um, come up with um what they are or give you some what they are give you some ideas of how i've done them before okay so let's go ahead and so again you're going to need a cover and a binding style choice. You're making a little golden journal with 60 pages or more, two or more sig signatures. And we're making this list of embellishments. So first off, you're making, oh, making altered paper clips. They can be any type of paper clips. You can use any type of paper clips. But remember that you need to do four things with it. Okay, so you need to add four of the elements to it. And some of the elements are, you're going to hear those in a minute, but they are like painting and, um, you know, inks and sprays and stickers and all those things. Okay, so a altered paper clip, you're going to make three. We're going to make a blackboard belly band with an insert. Your inserts, when they say with insert, your insert also needs to be made with and or embellished and um, enhanced with the four items, okay? Children's Tchotchke Charm 3. This one came up, I needed something for letter three. I wanted to do charms and what I thought of, because it's little golden books, I thought of things that kids might have collected in their pockets or in their little purses, um, little things. And you're gonna make your embellish, your charms out of little things. So um, they can be little things that go along with your, um, your theme, but things like a little eraser. I have some egg erasers up here for some reason, but so like it could be a little eraser or it could be a little paper clip. It could be a little piece of, of trim. 
um, a rock, a sticker, a button. Think of the thing, you know, a frog. <laughs> no, think of the things that your kids, that you found in their pockets or in the washing machine after that was done. It could be change, you know, all those things. Okay, next we're going to make a dictionary double tuck with two inserts. So um, a double tuck is two tucks. Double tuck. No, actually it's a double tuck. I'm sorry. So you're going to dictionary double tuck with two inserts. Now you can use an envelope with this and put your dictionary um, papers, pages, on top of the envelope or you can take the dictionary page and make an envelope out of that page okay sorry about that i got that one mixed up but okay next is e an embroidery lace card large tag make two so little kids have those lace cards that have the holes in them and you lace in and out of them you're going to if you don't have a lace card you're going to make one and you're going to make a large tag out of it and it does need to have some type of thread going in and out of it um, does not have to have finished the whole thing um, but i'm looking forward to seeing what, what you guys do with that but em embroidery lace card large tag make two Next, we are going to finger paint or print a background page and two tags. You might want to do this before you put your journal together. Um, it's okay if it ends up being a tip-in or something like that. Um, this time on the, the pages, adding them in, you can add them in as a tip-in or something like that. So you're going to either finger paint or like block print or potato print on paper and that that is that is what you're gonna do so it is finger paint and print a background page and two tags okay so you're gonna have your page and your two tags and the items are also gonna have the four things that enhance them now the enhancement does not include the finger painting or the block printing because that is, you know, that's your main, your main thing you're doing there. Okay. Glue seals with findings in them make two or more. Um, so you've seen where they take the glue, the hot glue and they make a little pile of glue and then they put something in there. So again, those little findings could be a little tiny sticker and you put it in there and then you put more glue on top and then you can use like, um, if you have a metal seal, you can use that. You can use a spoon or a, you know, something that's metal that you can go ahead and stop it um, and crush it down. I'm going to try, and I've seen them with fabric tack. So I'm, I mean, I don't have anything right here that would, that would work for what I need. Um, but I'm, I'm going to, that'll be one of the first things I try. Okay. So, you know, going ahead and putting a puddle down then putting your sticker or something in there, putting more on it. Now with the glue, because you, you don't want it to stick, I'm thinking to put a piece of acetate on the top. So like acetate on the bottom and acetate on the top and push them together. So we'll try that pretty, pretty early. I'm going to try and do a couple of the elements on each video because I have so much else going on this month. Um, I won't be able to get them all done if I don't do that. So um, next we have house and home tags too. So you're going to make a tag or um, yeah, a tag that looks like a house and you're going to decorate it. House and home tag. Now it, it's going to have to do with whatever your 
theme is probably. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I mean, if you're making a beaver journal, you found a beaver little golden book, then maybe you're going to have a beaver dam and a log cabin or something. But you're going to make two of those. Um, inside, outside, accordion pocket. That's a new one. Um, it requires envelopes. And so I'll be doing that early. Jingle, jingly, jangly, naughty tassel is also a new one. I'll be doing that one early. They have stars by them. The glue um, one I'll be doing early has stars by it also. So next we have the kite cut tags. Okay, so I needed a K and I, it, it was between kaleidoscope and kite. And I went, you know, the first time I ever did a patchwork tag, it was with, it was to make a kite. And um, so it's like patchwork tags, which Carrie said that that was her favorite um, embellishment to make. Um, so you're going to make a patchwork tags and you're going to make four of them. Uh, lunchbox pocket. That is going to be your flip up, flip down with a pocket. Okay. Flip up, flip up, flip down with a pocket. When I was sitting there and look at this made me think of a lunchbox, an old school lunchbox with the little clicker on it right here. And because it had, you know, the metal ones had a lip on them. It just made me think of that. And so that's why, that's why, okay, why it's a lunchbox pocket. Music, money. Okay, you're going to take music and you're going to make a money bank envelope with two inserts. So similar to the dad's bank envelope um, with money, uh, with, with money. Yeah, with money, with music. Okay, so use music paper. Um, here's another new one. Nursery rhyme clusters, four of them. On 12 by 12, you're going to use picks and words. Okay, so um, you're going to take an actual nursery rhyme. You know, it could be a little Miss Muffet set on her tuffet. You can type them out. You can cut pull them out of a book, uh, find them online, you know, just watch out for copyrighted stuff. And, um, but go ahead and you're going to put those onto a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you're going to make clusters and you need to have four clusters. When we've done this before, we've done six clusters. Um, but I was trying to cut the number down. I went back through and cut the numbers down so that we don't have quite as much stuff. Uh, one, two, three, triple pocket. Triple pocket. So three pockets on a page, however you want to do them. Okay? So you can do, you know, you do a pocket, you put a little pocket on it, there's a bigger pocket behind it, however you want to do it. Triple pocket. Um... Let's see, paper cup pocket with insert. That's one of those origami paper cups. Okay. Um, I was going to do the napkin fold thing. It was too big. So I was like, okay, we'll do with a paper cup. We used to make, well, actually what I was going to do was, you remember those things, the fortune teller thing? I was like we were going to make one of those and I was like, no, it's too bulky to put in here. So we made, we're making the cup. That's, that's really what happened. A quilted pocket flip and tag. So quilted can be either fabric or paper or leaves or whatever you want to do. Quilted pocket with a flip and a tag. Again, let's see what you come up with. It needs to be quilted or patchwork, pocket, flip, and tag. Round embellishments. This is one of my favorite things. So we are doing them and they start with the R. So great. Round embellishments. Three different ones. Can be any size. Um, snippet. 18 inches of snippet. Okay, so 18 inches of snippet. Your snippet should be at least an inch to two inches wide 
and fill it with all the at least the four things but fill it with all kinds of things i cannot wait to see what you do there triangle double tuck with inserts here's the triangle double tuck so that's like you can do this with the two envelope or with the envelope and cut it into triangle but you'll have a tuck and a tuck okay so tuck and a tuck and then um let's see with inserts so insert and insert so two inserts there um upside down tag and a top tuck so basically what you're going to have is you're going to have a tag just like we would for and you have a top tuck okay so here's your top tuck top tuck here's your tag and you're going to put it in upside down okay that's all that that's all it is we needed a you i think you were done with ugly and unusual so we have upside down okay um view master wheel dupe with window five images so you remember the view master wheel and it had pictures all the way around it you're going to do the wheel and you're going to do the five images however you want to do it you can just cut out images put them on the wheel you can make your wheel spin and have an opening if you want to however you want to do it but it needs to have the wheel it needs to have five images and then it needs to go in your journal you might have the die cut that cuts out of view master wheel i have that um but i think i want bigger windows than the one that's on the view master okay window specimen card with specimen so this is like like a slide okay but um like a photo slide with something in it so it has a window in it and then maybe you have a ladybug or you have a flower in it um, again those things that might be in a child's pocket might be kind of fun um, you know you might have a leaf you can also um, have a photograph of something in there but but what i'm thinking is that it's clear and you've got something in there so that's why it's a window um, specimen card okay and so and i'll be doing that one early because it might be something that might need to be done early okay xylophone diagonal belly band with insert if you look up xylophone on the dear julie julie channel up in the search bar xylophone dear julie julie I did xylophone bands um, in, out of, I, I used the, I used the, these, the, the quilted fabrics and they, they were like this and I was like, oh, that looks like a xylophone. And so we made those out of that, but you can do paper. Um, we've done it out. We've done xylophones out of paper strips before. Um, so um, but it needs to be a diagonal belly band, okay? And then you need an insert. Yo-yos or real yo-yo-like tabs. You need four of these either way. So a fabric yo-yo like we did in the last, the last challenge, okay? So um, it could be fabric or paper. Remember we did these little... Did these little tabs last month so you can look that up for a yo-yo we had some people that were struggling with yo-yos so i am going to let you do a yo-yo like this as well so this is crepe paper and it's basted and then brought brought together and so instead of doing that you just baste along your rectangle zoom, pull it tight and glue it together. Um, so you can do that or you can make an actual yo-yo, um, you know, out of two round things. And I'm looking for something that we can use for, and then some string in the middle. Okay. 
Okay, so maybe have your string kind of showing up here. I don't know. It made me think of a macaroon when I was playing with it earlier. But there you go. Okay, so those are your choices. This, this, or an actual yo-yo. Okay, and then zipper tuck pocket with insert. You can use an actual zipper. You can use a Ziploc bag. I actually have a zipper bag. You've seen I've done this before. Um, you can make a bag and put a zipper on it. We are going to come up with another way of having a zipper. <laughs> I've got, I'm trying to think of it. Now remember that you can use fabric tack you don't have to sew a zipper in. You can use fabric tack. So, um, so you might want to watch for that one if you're not sure about that because I have a couple of ideas. But I did have a zipper bag, and um, I might use that for the larger journal that I'm going to make. Okay, so we're using all of these items at least one time. So one zipper... Oh, that's the next part. Sorry. We're making the items on this list now um let's see you're required to use at least five pages of dear julie julie digital and i did i pull my digital out i didn't i have a brand new digital that i'm going to be using here's a piece from it um called it's uh zoo that's that's a bad piece there and um it's available in the etsy shop and it's 50 percent off right now um but this is what i'm going to be using it is pages and ephemera i think there was 63 um, pages it is what i used to make the um at the vip we used it along with some of my other papers and the stickers i'll be using so it's really fun. It's got deer, it's got bears, it's got lion, lions, tigers, and bears. Love this page, which we also went through and fussy cut that page and used that. Um, we made this traveler's notebook style journal in the virtual internet party for those that finished their um, June journals. They got this digital kit, and then we made that during the, the party. Okay, so, um, and there is a place for you to show us what digital you're using. Um, let's see. So here's a list of the items that you are to use. A, animals. This can be any kind of anything that you have with animals on it. I have a notepad that has... Um, uh, animals. <laughs> I have a couple books with the animals in them. This is the cover of a triple A magazine. Okay. Um, book pages, any. So you can use magazine book pages, uh, book pages from a book. And this can be to get pictures, but it can also be just to have book page print. Um, the next one is chalk or eyeshadow. I, I, I had a lot of this stuff out. Oh, there's my zebra note paper. So I have, I have a zebra note paper for animals. Okay. Um, dictionary, envelopes, fabric and lace. You can get your fabric and lace from any fabric or lace thing. So if you have clothing that has fabric or lace or linens, all free game. Um, next is gel, potato, floral, or finger paint print. Okay, so you're going to make a gel, potato, floral, or finger paint print. And then you're going to use that. That's how you can use one of your... Um, you can use that element when you're doing the page and the two tags. Okay? Hoarded stickers. So if you have stickers... Well... Even if you don't, if you haven't hoarded them, just use something that you've had for a little while. <laughs> um, but stickers. 
ink and spray. Oh, so sorry. Ink and sprays, jewelry beads, charms, kids' writing paper, and coloring books. Now, you only have to use one or the other, but you can use both throughout your journal. But the requirement is one of each of those has to be used somewhere in your journal and four on each embellishment um, letters numbers you can get these from using stamps you can get these from on tickets anywhere okay any letters any numbers they count music napkins or tissue old paper so um like an old book that has paper old newspaper old wrapping paper um you know that that box of just plain old paper um paint quilted items rolls of papers rolls of paper where'd my next page go <laughs> Sorry. Uh, stamps and stencils is S. T is trash. Includes junk mail and packaging. Here we have a new U. You pick one item. So pick an item that's in your, in your stuff that you've collected that you want to use. And that's your U. Um, vellum, deli, parchment paper. Wrapping paper. Um... Did I, did I do our rolls of paper? So your wrapping paper, <clears throat> you know, and rolls of paper, and <laughs> I'm not going to be that picky this time. Extra, you pick one. So pick another thing that you really want to use in this and use it. So like I will probably use my gold pen. So that will be one of my you pick items gold pen okay yarn trim ribbon zipper buckle snap now you're going to need a zipper or we're going to need to figure out how to come up with something that looks like a zipper um for that zipper pouch so uh yeah and it can be a zipper from a package it can be a zipper from something that had a zipper on it that you know you, you had so this time yes you may use everything in your stash all your tools all your goodies to enhance and embellish beyond the requirements so remember you have to embellish or enhance using and make using the at least four of the required items yes you can make more than one journal um, we have moved our mini challenge in the challenge to the Facebook group, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie. It is on Mondays, except for um, Mondays when the details video falls on a Monday. Like this time. <laughs> like today. Um, you may watch the details video as many times as you like. Make sure you like it. Make sure you share it. There is a post in the special group for you to ask questions. If someone answers before me, that's great. They probably know the answer, so that's fine. Also, check there as your question may have already been answered there. Please post your progress in the group as it encourages others and might help some that are struggling. Post all your elements in the elements post as you finish them so you're not trying to scramble at the very end. Or maybe once a week, post what you've got done. Take your pictures and post, okay? Um, and then post your finished journal pics and videos in the I finished posts. Okay. Those are black. They look like a, well, they are a keyboard and they say I finished. And so go ahead and, um, post. That is where I look to find those that finish. So make sure you do that. We ask that you share on your social media. So share it to Instagram, share it to YouTube, share it in other groups that you're allowed to. 
Um, any or all your steps, steps, especially the things that you are really excited about or the mistakes. You know, sometimes mistakes are a great thing. They, they help people know that it's okay to make mistakes, first of all. But also, how you overcame them is huge. And sometimes the best things come from a mistake. So, um, let's see. Uh, we also you start a photo album that has your pics in it. This keeps the feed easier to look through and for others to see your work. So they might see something that you made and want to see more and they'll go and look for the photo album. If you're not sharing a video, then you need to have a photo album that is showing all your pictures. And if you're doing a video, you should have both. Let's see. We have prizes for those who finish their journal. Finish it on time and post in those posts. Prize for all finishers is a virtual party and a digital kit. We will play with the kit at the party along with chatting and other fun only for those who finish. The VIP for this challenge will be the last Wednesday in August at 1 o'clock. So save the date. So again, we are making a little golden book with at least 60 pages, two signatures, binding of your choice. And, and then it has all of those embellishments that you've made are tucked away inside. I highly recommend that you, as you put them in, you decorate the page next to it like we did this um, for the last challenge. It made it so much better at the end when I still had a couple things to do. My journal, my journal looks finished. I still have a couple things to do. Um, remember, I do this video so that the um, diamond and emeralds get a peek. Um, so I'm still working on my July challenge. But because I went through and I've already stenciled on the page next to that, I've decorated the page next to that. The majority of my pages have something going on, which is how I like it. And um, so when I finish those other couple of things, I might have to just go through and do a little bit of adding. But I think I will be finished. Like, I will be finished. I will need to add a closure. And that is probably it. So I would recommend... I'm not going to require it this time, but I would recommend that you do that. Just add some washi tape or a little bit of bling or some lace to the page next to it. A sticker, some stenciling. Um, we didn't have to do the four things. You just changed it so that the two pages together went well together and that page was done. Okay, so that is the challenge for August. I am so, so, so excited that we are going to be making a little golden book. We haven't done that here for a couple of years. And so I am starting to get some things together. I've, I found a lot of things. I had a tiger stamp. I have some, I have a lot of stickers and I had these fun ones. I think I will definitely probably use those because the um, the Jungle Book is so animated. I think that these ones with the eyes will be fun to use. So, um, and look how much he looks like him. And that the monkey looked like the, you know, so, yeah, I think it's, I think it's going to be fun. And, um, I, again, I'm using the new zoo animal, um, digital. And so, like I said, I started to get some things together. Got my favorite stickers. 
I got some cool papers that were in my stash that I can use along with those papers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And look, there's a snake paper too. Woohoo, I think it's so cool. And then I have this. So I think that those are gonna be great. What do you think? And, um, and I'll use some animals that aren't actually in the story. And then I have this sticker set that I've never gotten to use, but I, I pulled it out. It's got elephants in it. So I will probably use the, um, the words here, not the words, the, um, these, and I love I, this stamp here. I did order a stencil and I think it'll be here this weekend or early next week from Spectrum Art Creations that um, I think we'll be, be able to use with this also. And then I did pull out this also because I'm gonna be working on the um, Flamingo, the Tropical Collab with Kara Brandon. And look, it had parrots on it and, and a hummingbird. Um, and then it had more of the leaves. So, and then this one with the Flamingo and the pineapple and the leaves. So I, yeah, so those are the stamp sets that I've pulled out. This is what I've pulled out so far. Then I found in this one, I thought this was really cool. It kind of reminded me of the flowers on the front of the book. So, um, yeah, so there we go. I'm excited. I cannot wait to see what, what you're going to do. Make sure you go, first of all, um, read through the details in the Facebook group and uh, sign it that you read it. And then post your little golden book so we can see what people are going to be using. Okay, so you'll find the link to the Facebook group in the description box down below. And um, yeah, so I look forward to seeing you there in the group and I cannot wait to see what you make. Uh, don't forget to ask questions in the questions thing and have an amazing day. Most of all, have fun. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.